It's critical, absolutely critical. I know I've seen a lot of pastors who uh, not so gracefully have fallen and we're all too quick to judge that. You know, we put them up on this pedestal. They're supposed to be these perfect people. You know, they've got this connection to God, but uh, in all honesty, Satan's got a target on their back. I mean, when you're, when you're really doing something for Christ, when you're really making waves, when you're really focused on serving Him, Satan hates it. He hates you. He hates what you're doing. He doesn't want Christians to do anything. He doesn't want Christians to become uh, Christians to begin with. So for a pastor who's leading, who's uh, you know focused on uh, providing God's word, uh, Satan's got every kind of trap he can laid for them. He's trying to uh, ruin them, ruin their reputation, ruin their family's reputation. So uh, it's critical that we pray and um, every part of their ministry and life is covered with prayer. The way I try to pray for people, um, pastors, ministers, and that kind of thing, but people in general, is with scripture because uh, in Isaiah it says that my word will not return void. It will do what I intended it to do, and those are God's words. And so we basically want to get an agreement with God. We want to pray scripture uh, because there, it's God's word. And he, um, I know for me, if I'm praying, I, I might get in my own way. You know, I've got uh, motives, and they may start out pure, but, you know, it, when I'm praying scripture, I know that that comes from God. So that, that's a good way. You can Google it. You can, but there's some great, you know, scripture prayer you can pray over your pastors. Well, I can really only answer for me. I know why I didn't. It's because I just didn't know. I didn't know any better. I thought, uh, again, that they were... Uh, these people who had this connection, this supernatural connection to God, they didn't need my prayers. Other people were praying for them. Uh, there's a whole host of excuses, but uh, the bottom line is I think it's just ignorance. I think we just don't know. We don't know what a pastor uh, puts up with. We don't know uh, that Satan's attacking them at every moment, attacking their family, and so we just, um, we're just not aware. An armor bearer for the church staff, well, um, Armor bearer to me sounds military, like a military term. So you're bearing somebody's armor. Uh, I know back in the Bible times you've got David who was the you know, armor bearer for Saul. And we know he picked him because he loved him and because he could trust him, because he was strong, he was reliable. And so I think that that translates into uh, church terms today, somebody who is gonna be willing, somebody who's available, somebody who can support the pastoral staff um, with strength and with, uh, with prayer. Um, somebody who's rooted in God's word. This needs to be somebody who really uh, has a deep, loving relationship with God too because everything we say and do as church members needs to be rooted in love. Praying for our pastor needs to come from love. Serving, everything we do needs to stem from love.